Hey, what's up guys? This is Dave from NetCodeSource.com and I'm going to be doing a video for the Razor Academy. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a basic guide on DDoS2 where I'm going to explain the default way of playing it, the standard way of playing it, and discuss why you do that and what players' roles are, what smokes they throw, what jobs they have to do, and where they're supposed to play on the map. So this guide is mainly aimed towards players who want to get into competitive play and things like that and want to have a better understanding of the maps. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to discuss is CT side roles. And now I'm going to make this very simple. This over here at A side, you're going to send three people. Alright, now when I say these things, everything can change because everybody could play differently but I'm gonna give you guys a basic understanding there's always more advanced things that you can learn and 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 this is just the uh, tip of the iceberg when it comes to understanding DDoS2 and uh, how you set up as a CT but I'm gonna first start out towards A now generally speaking you play to hold long A so you come in here backwards in case anybody flashes and you hold this doorway and make sure nobody can get out here and once you do that you simply set up with three people A side. You generally have one player who's more of a support role and he's he's watching this from the pit or he can get up here and play close like so or he could play behind here and hide. There's a lot of different ways for him to play. He could smoke it and get across the doors. And his job is to just make sure they can never come out of long A without him telling his teammates and then giving proper communication to them so they can come help him out if he needs it and things like that. So that's the long A player's job. Now the next player we're going to talk about is the player who kind of floats around. He plays around here towards car or what we call game helper. Now his role is to play from anywhere from here if long A needs help to here if cat needs help and he can even help out middle as well if they don't smoke CT spawn when they come out here. So he's kind of in a floater role. He's a do-it-all. He could op or he could rifle. He could use any gun he wants really. But that those are the areas that he's responsible for. Uh, before I forget to mention, the player in pit usually uses a rifle. He usually uses, uh, uses a uh, M4. And then again, the guy game helper area uses an op or a rifle it doesn't matter so much now the third player the third player is the player that is pretty much always gonna die if they go catwalk but his job is to delay them as long as possible and more importantly get as many kills as possible now this guy is gonna usually be a rifler um, you can switch it up and have an opera here but generally speaking you're gonna want a rifle because of the how the economy works if you if you have this guy opping a lot and you have a guy opping car that's going to be a lot of money, especially because this guy that's the primary defense at A is, going to, is usually going to die in the round. Because when people take catwalk, they usually take it with more than like three people. They usually take it with three or four people. And it's, it's, you know, it's just really hard to kill them all unless you're playing flawlessly. So now this guy is the site player. He could play at rail, so he could play behind here, peeking in and out, pre-firing this. He could play Sight, where he plays behind this box and, and goes like this, and he could throw flashes off here if they start taking Cat. Or he could play Goose. Alright, this is called Goose, by the way. And he could start flashing and peeking Cat and all sorts of stuff. So, that's his role. His, his primary role is to watch this catwalk and um, just be the main defense of the A bomb site. So, that pretty much covers A. Again, you have the three players. The pit player is responsible for long, the game helper player who's the who's the rotator, and the A site player who's mainly responsible for cat. Now let's go over to the B side and the mid side of the map. Now, when you go over here, you're gonna see middle and you're gonna jump across at the start of the round for the B players, and they're gonna see if anybody drops here so that they can inform their teammates. They're not really gonna worry about that too much though. They mainly wanna hold B. They wanna get in here and they wanna pre-nade, they wanna pre-smoke. B. Let me turn on SV cheats really quick. They want to come in here and they want to hold for the rush. They want to make sure nobody can get through these tunnels quickly and then get set up anywhere inside B. So once he is set up inside, once you have B control and you have someone set up there, then a player can rotate off and watch him at all. But first, let's talk about the B player and how he gets set up. 
He comes in, he flashes and smokes it, he nades it, whatever he has to do to stop them from rushing him. And he can either play sight, or he could play big box area around here, or he can play the uh, back plat over here. This guy could have an op or a rifle. Um, if he's opping, he's generally going to play around here, um, in the back, back of sight, or the back plat. If he's rifling, he's generally going to play behind the big box. He could play car every once in a while, over here. Or he could play up close on the right wall. He could either play hiding here, or he could play over here. So that is the B player's role once he gets set up. So, you, so once again, you want to set up for the rush, and then you want to get set up inside of B, and and you know hold a light round that way. Now the middle player is a little bit different. He could either play from inside a B, spotting like this, and then flashing off of here and peeking, or he could play in window, where he 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 peeks like this, and then he flashes over and whatnot. And this player again can either be an off or a rifle, or he can come out here and he can try to take picks and try to get the kills when they come up catwalk if doors aren't smoked and things like that. So that's a basic guide for D-Dust 2 on CT side. Alright guys, now let's go over T side. So generally, you're going to set up in a 2-1-2. And you're going to have two players towards B tunnels. One player who stays in T spawn and he actually opts middle. And then two players towards long A. One who plays outside of long A and one who goes to the palm tree. Now, let's start with the middle opper. The middle opper's role is to make sure nobody pushes up the middle he stays in T-spawn for a while and then he drops fast pass and he's going to tell you how many cross towards B, he's going to give you information and he's going to hold middle control. He's usually going to end up about green box when he feels it's safe to cross here and then he could watch for the cap push, he could watch for any of the mid push and if they push long he can help along. So he's kind of a do it all, he can kind of control the team and he can make sure you have that map control. So that is his role. The next two players are B-tunnel players. They get into B tunnels and they hold for the upper B push and make sure nobody can come through this hallway. And they make sure nobody can come through lower B if they do decide to smoke up middle like so. If a CT decides to smoke up like that and try to push towards lower, they're going to be responsible for that and make sure you get that kill. The other guy who's uh, uh, the lower player as well is responsible for anybody pushing off cat. He could usually see their head and get that kill, which is a very easy frag. And those are his roles at the start of the round. The next two players are the palm tree player and the long player. So I'm going to go over the palm tree player first. This guy plays around here and he's usually hiding until mid smoked and it's clear and then he's going to clear up cat or he's going to go to long and do a long A take. It really just depends on what strat you're going to run is what he does. The next player is the long A player. His role is to try to give you information at long, tell you how many nades are prenaded at long, if he hears anybody run around, you know, running around at long, and things like that. And he's also holding for the long push. He could play inside the doors like so, he could play outside the doors, it's really up to him. Now, when it comes to actually executing on Dust2 and making a strat, it really just depends on what you guys are comfortable with. There's a million different things you could do. But I'm going to give you generalities again because it's a basic guide. And generally speaking, you want to keep the middle door smoked right here. And you want to take a cat control. So you want to clear out catwalk like so. You know, make sure you have control of this area. That will limit the options that the CTs have to play against you and you kind of know where they are. And then you can make uh, a well informed decision of where you want to hit on the map. So you could either go up A, you could throw flashes over, a bunch of flashes, and you could rush to A site and you know send one out long, or you could send three catwalk and two long, you could send two catwalk and three long. There's really just a million different options that you have on this map. So again, on T side everyone has their roles and then you want to hit something together and execute together um, so you got when you hit A you hit it like that and if you hit B you generally speaking go mid to B so you can come here you could throw this smoke just to block off spawn and then you could run out here with flashbangs and go mid to B and split upper B tunnels and uh, middle so 
Those are the two main options that you have on this map, and either an A hit through Catwalk and Long, or a B hit through Mid to B and B Tunnels. Alright guys, well that's about it for this video. Again, this has just been a brief overview of Dust 2 and what to do on T side and CT side and what to expect. If you guys have any questions, comments, or want to give future video suggestions, you can either put that in the YouTube channel box below, or you can go head over to the Razor Academy and contact us there. If you guys like this video, well, we have many videos just like it on the Razor Academy. We have map overviews just like this, and we have other videos that you would enjoy. So check those out. And again, this has been Dave from NetcodeSource.com. Thank you guys for watching, and peace out.